Jeff, we're here again. Yes, Adrian Julian. Anaheim. It's our pleasure to have you back here. You are W5ABQ. And I know that because it's written in the big sign right there. Big Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, N3JF, three three there you are. All right. Glad, good to have you back again. Well, thank you so much. It looks like we have a ton of stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do. We got, we're going to highlight one of our, uh, not, you know, it's one of the best kept secrets. More and more people are learning about uh, the company OPEC. They're, uh, they are an OEM company. And um, with some recent news uh, in regard to uh, one of our manufacturers, main manufacturers, wholesaler, and uh, vendors uh, closing the doors and recently. Um, we're going to highlight some uh, products uh, from another company that uh, you'd be surprised how many products, the yes. hundreds of products actually made by OPEC. So no matter what you hear out there in regard to the news, no need to fear. OPEC HRO and OPEC is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we improvise, adapt, and overcome with good quality products, as it's always been since the beginning. HRO provides solutions for our operators and customers, and that's what it's always been about, filling the needs of amateur radio operators and equipping them. So that's what we're going to highlight today. We've got quite a few products here and uh, something for everyone. I think we'll start over there, Julian. <clears throat> Actually, we have a pizza delivery. Yeah, we had a delivery ham radio pizza, better known as the OPEC AM911 Tri-Mag Mount. And let me tell you, it does work very well. It's a Tri-Mag, and that's going to have uh, rubber boots on each of the magnets. It's going to come in three different uh, types of connections, the 3H24, yeah. the NMO, and the UHF, the AM911. Uh, it's heavy duty. Now, it's not recommended for going down the freeway with a very, very large vertical like the 17-inch whip by Chameleon or the MFJ1979, but it is uh, recommended for portable ops. And, um, but you can run this mobile with ham sticks and shark sticks, no problem at all. In fact, I run one on my, ready, uh, on my uh, vehicle every day, uh, 10 meters, 20 meters, and yes, it works extremely well. It comes with uh, 14 feet of RG58 coax and the connection point, uh, depending on which one you would like. Again. 3H24, NMO, and UHF. That's the AM911 Tri-Mag by OPEC. And, and you, I did hear you mention the, uh, the yep. rubber boots, as yep. you can see, this one I just pulled off, so. Yep, They're, yeah. and those do a great job of protecting your car body vehicle paint, all right? Very cool. Okay, that's gonna bring us over here. I'll hand this one to you. Okay. This is a, also mag mount, the uh, AM1025 Bravo. There's also the 1035. Uh, the 1025 is the SO239 version, the 1035 is the 3H by 24, and the 1045 is the NMO. They also come with 14 feet of RG59 with PL259 connections already on the coax, and they are ready for plug and play. They work really well. That's the OPEC uh, 1025, 1035, and 1045. Hand that back to you. Yes, sir. All right, and then a few little accessories that work really well or other items would be the AM207 Charlie. This one in, in the bag right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. My mistake. And uh, no problem. That's typical NMO mount. Comes with 14 feet of RG58, and that works with the 5 8 hole. That's also what which a lot of people appreciate has the right angle on the connection point, so easy install. Ah, yes. Yeah, and this is typically for drilling for a roof mount, which is gonna give you, although none of us really like to drill, it's gonna give you the best performance as far as um, radiated power and affected power, okay? That's the AM207C, and then there's the AM209, which is a trunk lip mount with an NMO, also with coax already attached. Uh, which is 17 feet and a PL259 trunk lip. And in some cases will also work um, with some fenders and, and hood mounts as well, just depending on the model. It does have a rubber seal underneath to protect your paint as well. 
and that's the 209 trunk lip mount. Uh, a bracket that's usually in need is the little AM, um, is that the 422? Yeah, 422. That's the L bracket. We get a lot of crust for these. There's a lot of uh, applications for it. Three fourths inch hole comes with screws and it is stainless steel. It's a great product um, and very versatile. It can be used for many things. Mobile, portable, base, whatever you need. And then we have the other mount, the three-way mirror, the AM302. Now this one has the NMO connection on it, but the coax is not included. This is heavy duty. Uh, it can work on a mirror or any other mass. It have a, has a half inch hole. Uh, it's um, aluminum and uh, very solid, very solid. You can add the NMO, NMO3 to it if you like and then it's complete. That's the AM302. All righty. Okay, so that will uh, move us over to the accessories that uh, OPEC offers, some of the most important that we have to offer. Okay, the first is the NMO1. I think it's uh, the top middle. Yep. There we go. A little mount. This is the NMO mount connection for those of you who want to drill or you already have coax and you just need to add the NMO connection. This is got, has a three quarter inch hole and it's a brass body. Um, that's the NMO number one. Then we have the NMO number four, which is the uh, N type in the middle to bottom. There we go. NMO to uh, this is an N-type, about a two-inch barrel, um, converting from N-type N female to an NMO. All right, that's the NMO4. There are some applications that operators need this, and so this is not an easy item to find, actually. So we're glad we do offer it. That's the NMO4. The NMO5, the ever-popular rain weather cap. Everyone should have one of these in their MacGyver toolbox. Uh, this is the weather cap for NMO. You're gonna go through the car wash or you need to take your antenna off, you're traveling, camping, whatever it might be. I keep two of these in my car. As do I. Yep, yep. there you go. So that's the weather cap, rain cap, NMO number five. Then the NMO six, also very, very popular. A great tool to have, great resource, is the NMO adapter to 3H24 thread. I keep two of those in my car as well, and these are great if you already have a mag mount that is NMO and you want to use your ham sticks or other 3H24, this is the one that will allow you to do that with having to buy a whole nother mag mount. So that's the NMO number six. And then we have our coax switch. Two-way coaxial antenna switch by OPEC. Heavy duty, die cast. Um, ready to do the job. Uh, SO239 connections it will handle one kilowatt and it will go up to 600 megahertz. So you can use this on HF, VHF, and UHF. You can go two radios to one antenna or two antennas to one radio or vice versa. I'm going to also mention its uh, counterpart, the CX5 I don't have here today, is the three-way position a coaxial switch by OPEC. It will also handle one KW. That's the CX201 and the CX5. And that's some of the main accessories that OPEC does offer. Yeah. Okay, let's switch over to our antennas here. Looks like, uh, reminds me of Mount Wilson up, up above Pasadena. <laughs> like the repeaters yeah, crazy, and, and antenna stations. Uh, we're going to start here, uh, Julian, with the NC136. This antenna now is designed, it's an NMO. Looks very similar to a lot of public agency type vehicles, fire department, police. Uh, but this is one that you will need to tune to your desired frequency and you will need to cut it. So uh, it is rated all the way from 136 megahertz to 960. If you do need to cut it down to 800 to 900 megahertz, you can bring it down to about 2.1 inches and there you go. So multiple use just depends on what frequency you want to use it for. NC136. Next is our VU1545. This is a VHF, UHF, two meter, 70 centimeter, dual band, uh, 2.0 dBi gain, very, 
fabulous looking antenna, well done. And 5.0 dB gain on UHF. Can handle 250 watts. It is NMO mount, and it's about 35 inches, just under three feet, uh, the whip part. All righty, that's the 1545, is it? Yeah, yep. And the OP1217. Now this is a full half wavelength, two meter, 136 megahertz to 174, so you can cut it wherever you need it. Handle 160 watts, NMO mount, and 4.5 dBi gain. 55 inch stainless steel whip. That's the OP1217 Alpha, all right? And we have the VU1503. Also two meter, 440 dual band, three dBi gain on VHF and 5.5 on the UHF. Um, it's a PL259 connection, 40 inch, 200 watts capacity or maximum power. And the good thing is, if you do need to fold over hinge, this will do it for you. Going through the carport, going into the garage, going through the drive-thru, whatever it might be, uh, that's a great feature that this antenna offers. That's the VU1503. And next on our list is the uh, VH144. This is not pre-tuned. It's a, again, you cut it to the desired length depending on your resonant or your center frequency. Uh, now this one thing that sets this one apart, uh, the VH144 is it does include a spring. So those of you who are doing off-roading, and that's about a 58 inch whip. Just a fantastic antenna. Uh, and it's mono band, 300 watts, can handle 300 watts. So if you're running one of those Mirage amplifiers, this, this will be a good antenna for you. All right, we're gonna move over to the VU1505. It's a VHF, UHF, two meter, 70 centimeter. Uh, three dBi gain, 5.5 on UHF, can handle 250 watts. It's a PL259 connection. It's only 17 inch. It's our, wins our cutest antenna award today, that's for sure, all right? The VU1505, nice design. And what do we got left here? Our HVT400 is gonna be a multi-band antenna, including HF, VHF, and UHF. Um, it's gonna cover eight HF bands, but it also covers two meters and 70 centimeters. On HF, it's a quarter wavelength. On VHF, UHF, it's five eighths wave. You do need to utilize the jumper cable, so it's easy. You don't have to get out of your vehicle, change ham sticks, or wherever you might be. You've got this jumper cable to change your bands. That's your band selector, okay? HVT400 and its companion, HVT600. Very similar, only um, uh, the 600 doesn't cover the exact same bands. It does cover all of HF and two meters, but it does not cover UHF, all righty? And uh, I think this one will handle 200 watts. Both very similar. Nice, very cool. Okay, we have the uh, VU1510. This is a dual band pre-tuned, two meter, 70 centimeter, three and a half inch magnetic mount. I know this antenna personally. While I was in Korea, Julian, my, uh, my brother-in-law, Dave, uh, KC0CQD out of Kansas City, sent me this. And I was amazed how well it hit, hit the repeaters in near Seoul, but I was on the 19th floor. Anyway, I've used it, I used it mobile. It's a very good antenna. It's got a couple DBI gain, easy to install. It's great for if you're traveling, and it's got about 17 feet of coax with it as well. The VU-1510. You got a scanner antenna over here. Yes, the little other little cute, adorable <laughs> It is kind of cute. We got it? some adorable antennas today. This is the Scan SMA. Uh, it's 25 megahertz up to 1.3 gigahertz on the cover. It's a receive only antenna. We use them here at the store a lot uh, just to listen to different bands. And um, magnet mount, 
easy to take with you. It's for travel. It's for your, uh, if you're camping, if you're at a hotel, whatever it might be. Uh, the Scan SMA 25. Dash 1300. It's going to come with 12 feet of RG174 coax. It's got a nice little magnet. And yes, you can use it on the car going down the road. It will not blow off your vehicle. All right. So it's great for scanners, great for receivers. And there you go. That's the Scan SMA25-1300. All right. I think that's wow. it for our antennas. That's a, that's a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. And there's more. Yeah. But these are the main ones we covered today. Okay. External speakers. We've got the, uh, is that the, the 30, 7-30? This is an 8 watt, 8 ohm speaker. This one that se separates it from the other speaker that we're gonna show you is that it has a noise filter and noise cancellation feature. Comes with all the hardware you need, right angle plug and cable, and ready to plug and play. That's the 7-30. 30, yes. And then the other one is the 7-26. It's gonna look very familiar. You might remember the MFJ281. Uh, actually, OPEC is the OEM. They're the manufacturer. Eight ohms, eight watts. Nice size. Is a very popular speaker in our store with operators. Six feet of cable, 3.5 millimeter, right angle, ready for plug. Comes with a swivel bracket and knobs. All you need for plug and play. Yeah. Wow. That's the 7 26. And those Ooh. are our uh, highlight of OPEC products today. Wow, and a lot of this stuff you may recognize from other places. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very yeah. cool, and they're local to us here in uh, yeah. the here Orange in County, County LA, LA yep. area. That's yeah. right. Very cool. So if you have any questions on any of these products or any other questions, we can help you at HRO. Call any of our uh, 13 stores and we'll be glad to help you. Excellent, all right. Jeff, thank yes. you so much. Thanks for being here. Well, oh, no, thank you. Always, always a pleasure. And don't forget, uh, we're at, at uh, hamradio.com online. We have Instagram, we have Twitter, and we have Facebook, and of course, YouTube. So uh, check us out. And uh, come see us at Dayton. We'll yes. be at Dayton in just a week or two. Yep. All right. Jeff 73. Again. Thank 73. you. 73. 73, guys. Okay. There will now be a brief intermission while Bill scrambles around. <laughs> I'll be out of your way here in a minute. Hey, no worries. We're not running out of tape or anything. No, I don't think so. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Okay, going again. So in uh, three, two, one.